How's it going gun guys and girls? Welcome back to Guns and Tindy Gun Guy. So today I don't have my shooting cap on, I've got my cheerleader cap on. I'm going to support my uh, stepdad and brother. Uh, they competing on the S Hunters Browning National Shotgun Shooting Championships. So rather rather mouthful. On my way to Watson Springs Shooting Club. Um, that's just about I think about 70 k's from where I stay in Heidelberg. So a bit of a drive out, but I am going to support them. Um, they ask me very nicely, but I think they actually want to get me into uh, into the shotgun shooting uh, uh, vibe, which I haven't bitten on yet, because I'm predominantly, as you know, a rifle and a handgun shooter. So you guys are taking along with me today. It's a vlog type of video. As you can see, the lighting is probably terrible, um, but yeah, take along and then let's see what's happening at the S Hunters National Shotgun Shooting Championships. Hey guys, so let's check out some shooting. So I've been here for a bit now already. I've got the lay of the land and my brother has done quite a couple of shoots already. So this is actually one of the more interesting ranges that I've seen. Um, if you can see, it's out there. So this is the last clay that comes down and it comes down at an insane angle. So let's check it out quickly. Uh, my brother should be, should be going up soon. So that actually basically dips down all the way there just all the way down so um that's it this is one so let me show you how he shoots now Yeah, so that was definitely not an easy round as you can see it comes from a far way off um, the cool thing is that the setup here is very cool um, they've got 10 ranges that they are shooting today and the cool thing is that they've got stands where you can sit and actually watch so it's quite comfortable trees here and there absolutely stunning day as you can see but there's there's a bit of cloud build up now but it should be good for the rest of the day and for the afternoon shooting as well <laughs> Okay, so that was the first session sorted. Just had lunch there at the restaurant. Nice thing about Water Springs is uh, they've got very nice facilities. So they can facilitate all kinds of shooting. They do PCP up there. They do the shotgun shooting and there's quite a few pistol, pistol ranges as well, which is not in use today because it's just parking needed. Um, so that was first session sorted. My brother was in first session. Our stepdad is going to go into the second session um, of the shoot for today. So yeah, I was lucky. Sorry I didn't show you show you lunch. Very nice burger. Just wolfed it out because I was super hungry. Having an insane met metabolism. I just eat all the time. But yeah, let's check out session two of the shoot. So we finally arrived at the end of the day. So because I am a range officer, I had to keep score just for... Uh, just to help out for my, for my stepdad's group. But yeah, it was cool. Um, yeah, as you know, I can't, I can't still, sit still. Bit of a hyperactive bunny. So yeah, hopping out just to, uh, to be, part of the, be part of the day, helping things run smoothly. Okay, so that's the end of the day. That was actually a really, really long day with loads of shots. Uh, but it was it was cool just to be exposed to more of the shooting community 
Um, as you know, I've done very limited amount of clay pigeon shooting, so it was cool for me to see what actually happens at a big competition like this. And what was really surprising is how I noticed how everyone's so vastly different in the shooting community. Um, you get so many different kind of people from different walks of life. So me being predominantly from a rifle competition shooting background, as you guys know, um, I'm used to that type of people. And then I went into pistol, pistol shooting, did a bit of uh, competition shooting there. And they're completely different as well to the, sorry, phone. Uh, they are completely different uh, to the tactical shooting guys. Um, so yeah, it, it was so cool for me to see that everyone's so different, but that everyone's still uh, united by by the love of firearms. And the nice thing about S Hunters is they started off as a hunting organization, um, just focused on um, basically hunting hunting exercises, as as you say, or hunting based exercises sport shooting exercises where they branched out trying to accommodate quite a few people um, into um, poster leagues um, into let's say uh, tutu handguns um, shotguns they've, they've gone out of their way to try and accommodate so many people so there are big organizations specializing in one thing but in South Africa at least they are the biggest sport shooting organization in South Africa and um, they, they do so many nice things, uh, promoting proper firearm use, proper firearm ownership, um, and then just basically camaraderie. This is a family. Um, I wasn't even supposed to do anything today, and I jumped in and I, and I helped uh, to keep scores, um, just because that's, that's what anyone else would have done that's part of S Hunters. Um, yeah. That was a cool day, but I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this quick look. I didn't show it too much; it was just so busy. But um, yeah, maybe I'll do it again. If you if you did like this video, please comment down in the comment section, like, share, subscribe, all those cool things, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.